Yo what's up guys, today we'll talk about how I build this tiny handheld game. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB, more on them later. First of all, we need an Arduino. So here I'm using Arduino Nano from DF Robot. Next we need a display. This is a 240 by 240 pixel display from Waveshare. Finally we need a micro switch. First up, we'll make this project on a breadboard. So we also need a breadboard and some jumper wires. You will find the links of all items in the description box. Now we have to follow this diagram for connections. Ok so we are done with the connections. Now we have to upload the codes. So we made this code after so many failed attempts. It works but it's still in progress. Now we have to connect the battery along with the charging module. As you can see it start working. It's a one button game like a flappy bird. So this project is half complete. We can't use it like that because I wanna make a keychain out of it. So we have to make it as small as possible. To make it possible I decided to make a custom PCB board. So I designed the schematics and converted into a PCB board. Then I order it from GLCPCB. GLCPCB is a highly trusted and popular PCB manufacturer. They provide PCB prototyping services at very low cost. Besides PCBs, they also offer PCB assembly, SMT stencils, 3D printing and CNC machining. Just upload your Gerber file and order your PCB for just $2. Ok, so my package arrived within 7 days. The PCB quality is so good as usual. I also ordered the stencils for this PCB for easy soldering, but I'm trying it for the first time. Anyway, let's do it. First, place your PCB on a flat surface, then position two boards around it at the same height and secure them with some tape. Now place the stencil on it, align it with the solder pads and use some tape to secure it in the place. Now apply some solder paste on the stencil and spread it using a plastic card. Make sure to spread it evenly so that every solder pad gets filled with the solder paste. Then carefully remove the tape, lift up the stencils and there you have it, a perfectly soldered PCB board. Now place all the components in their positions. This board is not programmable which means you have to remove the chip from a pre-programmed Arduino board. Just upload the codes to an inexpensive Arduino board, remove the Atmega chip from it, then place it on my new PCB. I am learning about this process and soon I will create a programmable board where you can upload the codes as well. So stay tuned for that. Next we need to melt the solder paste to solder the components. I am using a hot air gun with the low airflow rate. Ok, so most of soldering work is done. Now we just have to solder the display on the front. I am using the same display we used earlier. Just detach it from the PCB using soldering iron and place it on the new PCB board. However, we encountered a problem with the solder pad. I mistakenly used the larger solder pads for the display. And as you can see, it's not going to work. After a lot of thinking, I came up with an idea. I used enameled copper wire to connect the display and it should work I guess. Then I removed the adhesive tape from the back and carefully glued the display. Finally by soldering this micro switch, the PCB board is ready to use. Now we need a small 3.7V battery. I have this tiny battery, I'm not sure where I got it but it's perfect for this build. Ok, now the moment of truth, will it work? Yes, it is working, I'm so glad that it worked out, otherwise I have to reorder the PCBs because of that display issue. Now it's time to make a housing or case for it. So I designed this case on Tinkercad and printed it on my Bamboo Lab 3D printer. These are all the parts we required, so let's assemble it.
Okay, so finally guys the project is ready and it turned out pretty well. As you can see it's so tiny I can even hide it in my hand. It's 5cm by 3.5cm and it works pretty good. I will make more advanced version of this in my upcoming videos so stay tuned for that. I have also designed another case for it where you can use it as a keychain. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another one. Bye bye.